Good morning, Shavua Tov, Agotavach. Thanks for tuning in to Kila Chari Torah's daily review of Hilchas Purim, the laws and customs of Purim for Sunday, March 6th. Matanos uh, Lavyonim by Mishloach Manot. One may not fulfill the mitzvah of Matanos Lavyonim and Mishloach Manot simultaneously with the same gift, even if the recipient is a needy person. Nice try. Uh, when should one give? The mitzvah of Matanos Lavyonim should be fulfilled by giving money to the poor on the day of Purim as opposed to Purim night. Before Shachris, you can do the mitzvah. Some are of the opinion that you should do it after the uh, 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 reading of the Megillah, but if uh, the opportunity presents itself, why not? Uh, some posts can maintain that the mitzvah of, Manus, of Mishloach Manot should be performed before Matanos Levyonim. Others say the reverse, the custom. We're not particular. Uh, who's qualified to receive Matanos Levyonim? Some say that in order to fulfill the mitzvah, one must give money to an evyon, an absolutely destitute person. Others maintain the obligation can be fulfilled with an ani, an average poor person, who would be uh, anyone who does not enough, have enough steady income to sustain normal household expenditures. And in fact, common custom follows that view. The mitzvah can be fulfilled by donating to men, women, or children of any age. Giving to a married couple is considered to one poor person with regard to Matanus Levyonim, even if the contribution would be ad- uh, adequate for two people. Additionally, giving to a father and a child who still lives at home is also considered giving to one. Tune us, tune, join us by tuning in tomorrow, and we'll continue with some more laws and customs of Purim. Have a wonderful day and a wonderful week. Shavuot Tov.